hemorrhagic shock is results uh, it is the complication of hemorrhage that is complication of excessive bleeding so hemorrhagic shock can be classified into various categories that is class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 so what is uh, uh, class 1 so class 1 is blood loss less than 750 ml or less than 50% of blood volume so if less than 50% of blood volume is lost then we can classified it into class 1 hemorrhagic shock and it can be also called as mild hemorrhage so blood loss less than 50% then it is class 1 60 to 70 percent of blood volume is present in the low pressure venous system. Ten uh, percent of blood volume is present in splanchnic venous, uh, splanchnic circulation. So when there is blood loss, peripheral vasoconstriction takes place and compens and compensate for loss of blood volume by shifting blood into central circulation. So because of uh, uh, peripheral vasoconstriction, there will be shifting of blood from peripheries to the central circulation. some amount of correction of blood volume also occurs due to withdrawal of fluid from the inter interstitial spaces so peripheral vasoconstriction and withdrawal of fluid from the interstitial spaces will occur so there will be this is the compensatory mechanism okay so our body uh, tries to cope up with the loss of uh, blood so our body uh, 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 tries to compensate the loss of blood apart from mild tachycardia so feature, clinical features are mild tachycardia and thirst there will be no no other symptom sign uh, suggesting hypovolemia so no other symptoms the blood pressure urine output and maintention that is consciousness are all normal in class 1 shock so what is hemorrhagic shock hemorrhagic shock is type of hypovolemic shock so hypovolemic shock can be classified into non hemorrhagic uh, shock and hemorrhagic shock so we are discussing uh, type of hypovolemic shock hemorrhagic shock can be categorized into various categories that is class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 class 1 if there is loss of blood less than 10, uh, 15% so if there is less than 15% of blood volume loss then it is called as class 1 hemorrhagic shock and here there will uh, here our body tries to compensate the loss of blood so there will be peripheral vaso vasoconstriction and withdrawal of fluid from the interstitial spaces and tachycardia and uh, thirst can be uh, uh, tachycardia and thirst are the symptoms of the class 1 hemorrhagic shock now class 2 so class 2 if there is loss less than uh, lo loss of 15 to 30% of blood volume so that is 80 800 to 1500 ml result in moderate uh, class 2 shock so this is moderate type of shock peripheral vasoconstriction may not be sufficient to maintain the circulation so in class 1 peripheral vasoconstriction is sufficient to maintain the loss of blood uh, volume but here peripheral vasoconstriction may not be sufficient to maintain the circulation hence adrenaline nor adrenaline that is catecholamine release from the sympathetic adrenal system cause powerful vasoconstriction of both arteries and vein so here adrenaline and nor adrenaline will come into play as peripheral vasoconstriction is not sufficient for loss of blood volume so Uh, because of release of this catecholamines there will be vasoconstriction of both arteries and veins so increased secretion of ads so there will be increased secretion of adh which, which will causes retention of water and salt and this will increases the thirst and clinically patient shows a heart rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute so heart rate will be 100 to 120 beats per minute and elevated diastolic pressure the systolic pressure may be normal urine output it reduced to about uh, 0.5 ml per kg per hour and the capillary refill is more than the two uh, normal two second extremities may look pale and patient is confused and thirsty okay so this is class uh, class 2 uh, shock now class 3 
सो क्लास थ्री टाइप ऑफ शॉक इफ लॉस ऑफ ब्लड इज थर्टी टू फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ ब्लड वॉल्यूम इज लॉस्ट देन वी कैन कॉल इट एज क्लास थ्री शॉक ऑल दी साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ क्लास टू शॉक गेट वर्स सो ऑल दी साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ क्लास टू शॉक आर प्रेजेंट हियर बट दे आर इन सीवियर कंडीशन द पेशेंट सिस्टोलिक एंड डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर फॉल हार्ट रेट इंक्रीजेस टू अबाउट वन ट्वेंटी बीट्स पर मिनिट पल्स इज थ्रेडी द रेस्पिरेटरी रेट इंक्रीजेस मोर दैन ट्वेंटी पर मिनिट ड्यूरिंग आउटपुट ड्रॉप टू टेन टू ट्वेंटी एम एल पर आर पेशेंट एपियर्स पेल अग्रेजिव ड्राउजी एंड कंफ्यूज सो दिस इज क्लास थ्री शॉक नाउ क्लास फोर शॉक ब्लड लॉस मोर देन 2000 एम एल दैट इज ग्रेटर देन फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ ब्लड लॉस रिजल्ट इन क्लास फोर शॉक पेरीफेरीज आर कोल्ड एंड अशीन पल्स इज थ्रेडी मोर देन वन ट्वेंटी पर मिनिट ब्लड प्रेशर आर वेरी लो एंड अनरेकॉर्डेबल सो वेरी लेस ब्लड प्रेशर देर मे बी रिनल शन डाउन एंड द पेशेंट मे बी मॉरिबंट इफ परसिस्टेंट can damage other organs for example git uh, kidney liver heart and other organs so what is uh, difference between class 1 class 2 class 3 and class 4 this is the grading of hemorrhagic shock class 1 is mod- mild type of shock class 2 is moderate then severe are class 3 class 4 in the class 1 there is loss of blood less than 10% less than 15% of blood volume is lost in class 1 in class 2 uh, 15 to 30% of blood volume is lost in class 3 30 to 40% of blood volume in class 4 greater than 40% of blood volume is lost so in class 1 uh, class 1 is the mild hemorrhage there will there will be uh, when there is loss of blood there will be peripheral vasoconstriction and this peripheral vasoconstriction is sufficient to compensate loss of blood volume but in class 2 this peripheral vasoconstriction is not sufficient to compensate for loss of blood volume that's why uh, adrenaline and nor adrenaline will come into play they will cause vasoconstriction of both arteries and uh vents now in class 3 uh there will be all the there will be worsening of all the features of class 1 uh, all the features of class 2 and in class 4 th- uh, there will be damage of other organs can occur like git there will be mucosal ulceration in git also liver reduced clearance of toxins acute renal failure in the kidney myocardial ischemia and depression can also occur it can affect it can affect lungs and result in an end result of this hemorrhagic shock is multi organ failure okay so this is about uh, classification of hemorrhagic shock now we will uh, okay so classification of hemorrhagic shock can be classified into class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 up to uh, 15% of blood uh, 15% of blood loss that is less than 70 750 ml then it is normal then blood loss 15 to 30% 750 to uh, 1500 ml then pallor thirsty and tachycardia blood loss 30 to 40% then hypotension tachycardia oliguria confusion blood loss greater than 40% then uh, that is greater than 2000 ml then rapid pulse low bp anuria unconsciousness and multi organ dis- dysfunction syndrome so this is important it will affect multiple organ system that is multi organ dysfunction syndrome so this is classification of hemorrhagic shock effects of hemorrhage that it can affect re- uh, re- uh, kidney liver uh, heart lungs so this 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 is about uh, effect of heart hemorrhage that is acute renal shut down shut down liver cell dysfunction cardiac depression hypoxic effect metabolic acidosis git and mucosal ischemia sepsis interstitial edema av shunting in lungs that is acute respiratory distress syndrome and multiple organ uh, dis-